This is a, a great image of a respectable, classy, beautiful woman. For you to point out this well-dressed sister here to make me feel some type of way about myself becomes a problem. Man, let me let me get you. Let me get you. The reason I have never said I do is because I don't. I've, I've been married, um, and I, I, I couldn't sign up for bad sex. That's right. So if we enter a relationship with anything that's about me, 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 then I don't believe that we're ready. This is the battle of the sexes, and believe me, the women are going to win. It's a cook-off, but however, the rules are. They have to cook. They have to teach a non-cook how to cook. So that means they're going to teach me, and Scott Graves is going to teach. Who, who's your person? Uh, status, the manager. You mean a loser? I mean, <laughs> oh, oh, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't mean to start already. But that's how it goes down. They, um, the men were given ingredients from us, um, picked by Miss Doris Williams, who's our head chef, and the men picked our ingredients. So we don't even know what we're going to cook until. As soon as we sit here and figure all of this out, to me it all looks like I don't know. I can't even tell you what to cook, but we're going to figure it out. It is single on a Saturday night. Uh, tell us what, what what the ingredients you gave them, because I really don't know. Oh, just a simple uh, mirepoix of <laughs> carrots and onions and green peppers, um, along with some special ingredients: mm. ricotta cheese and coconut milk. So they have to figure out exactly how to make that taste good. As we will with theirs that they gave us. Hi, I am Karima Dawson, but I am known to everyone as Miss K. And I just like to say our dish is going to be mm mm good. <laughs> Hi, I'm Michelle Renee, and I am a chef. So I would gladly be happy to teach Shelly how to cook. <laughs> and we are going to win, because women rule the world. <laughs> women, women do rule the world, but you know what? I had to go pick out this stuff. I actually went to the supermarket, and I had the most trouble in the whole wide world trying to pick out their ingredients. I had to walk up. Can you tell me where wonton is? What is wonton? What is that, wonton something? Wonton wrappers. Coconut milk. I had to find one of my friends on the phone. Can you tell me where this is, Sadina? She had to tell me on the phone how to get any of these ingredients. So shopping is not even my thing, but we're still going to win. That's all I'm saying. But go ahead, Scott. Take over. Um, this is just going to be a pure destruction because uh, <laughs> as we all know, all the men in the building, women are hormonal, so their taste buds change throughout the month but we're always the same so you know it's a nice I'll, I bless them with like a Mediterranean blend we'll see how they come out of that one see the men don't even want to talk just because they're scared y'all scared Mike Bryce is scared you scared too huh? status you scared it's all right but we're going to turn it over to let the discussion begin we're going to get to business we're going to get down to it and we're going to figure out what this is all about so we're going to turn it over to uh but before i do that don't forget Romy rome dj Romy rome in the building providing the sound <laughs> embassy entertainment Held, held us down with promotion and we are right here at Kia Gray Steak and Seafood Restaurant. We thank everybody that's helping us out and we're going to keep going and right now Miss Danielle Patterson please take it away. Thank you Shelly, thank you. Well we're still here, we're single on Saturday night and I just want to say it's going to be interesting to watch Scott get destroyed in his own restaurant. Yes, that's right, we're here in Darby, Pennsylvania at Kia Gray Seafood and Steak Restaurant and you know, as we have the Battle of the Texas, let me just give you some background on where this came from. You see, one of the issues that has arisen is that women are single because we're not cooking anymore like we used to. 
you know, y'all new sisters in this new generation, you can't quite throw down. Mm. So then it became men are better cooks because we've been learning from our mamas because, you know, daddy's not around and we're spending time with mama in the kitchen. But that's not actually where that came from. You see, historically, women have been the cooks. They've been the caregivers for the family. And so women cook out of necessity. See, so you see, Scott thinks that he's fooling these women because they're going to have to make something out of nothing. Women learn how to make something out of nothing every single day. You know? Don't y'all know about that? Tell me, tell me about that. Y'all know when y'all come home and ain't nothing in there but some bread and some mayonnaise and all of a sudden you can turn that into some garlic croutons on some lettuce. Work it out, ladies. Work it out. <laughs> We have a very special guest with us here today. We have Jermaine Jones, one of our American Idol uh, co competitors. And also, I was here to say, get it wrong again, no question is in the building. So there's no question that we're going to have a great time today. If I can ask the other folks on the panel to introduce themselves briefly, just so we know who's here. Starting to my right with Ms. Susan Bolden. Hi, my name is Susan Bolden. I'm an owner of Q's Hair Boutique, located at 5815 North Broad Street. Hi, I'm Alicia Cheatham. I'm a massage therapist and I'm single and I don't cook much, but I do cook. <laughs> That's right. Tell me about y'all cooking, ladies. My name is Yana B. Um, I've been in the music industry for a very long time and yes, I know how to cook. You throw it down, sister? <laughs> yes, I do. That's what's up. I'm Danielle Patterson and you know, contrary to popular belief, because you know, people think I look like this and my whole diva status keep me from getting in the kitchen, but not only do I throw it down, I throw it down gourmet style. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Lady. Um, my name is Miss Nikki Phelps. I am a human sexuality specialist. I do cook. I love to cook. And I she's gonna teach us how to, to cook have fun and bring food. it into the bedroom. In the kitchen. Uh, my name is Chris Armstrong. I am a pastor, a, re a very, very untraditional pastor. So I'm crazy, just to let y'all know. All right. And he told us he wasn't scared of us, so y'all make sure y'all got them questions coming hard and fast. And my name is Jermaine Jones. Um, I'm a top 12 finalist for this year's American Idol. And, I and I'm going to learn well. how to talk like that. I, I want Could y'all sit me next to somebody whose voice is a little bit higher? <laughs> I, I didn't hear wait, 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 wait. Look at these women up here. Shelly Williams is supposed to be cooking. Look at that, look at that. She's not even touching the food. <laughs> well, you see, just so you are clear, is that there are, you know, since we're in a restaurant, sous chefs. And that's why she's getting additional assistance. Scott Graves, it's not my fault that you could only find status in that Mike Bryce in the building. That's on you, my brother. So I seen to me, you need to get to your own ingredients and get on your side. Ooh. And don't be trying to come there hitting me. Okay. So, <laughs> ladies, tell me about some of those things where you found yourself in some situations, gentlemen, where you had to, you know, make that something out of nothing. How were you able to do it? And how are you able to just make that and feed your family, feed yourself? Tell us about it. All of a sudden, somebody figured out, we can make money off this cooking thing. And guess what happened as soon as somebody figured that out? Men start cooking. The men took over the kitchen. And I don't want to Hey, you are watching Single on a Saturday Night, it's Jelly Williams, and I'm sitting here with the gentle giant, Mr. Jermaine Jones. He's on me up and say, hello, Mr. Jones. Hey, hello, how are you? Jermaine Jones, everybody knows your name, your name is ringing bells all over, America Idol. Tell me about that experience, just briefly. Um, it was a great experience. It was intense, a lot of up and down, the most roller coaster, but overall, it was a good experience, and I had a good time, I enjoyed it. And if you check out the was, was wonderful. But if you had to check out the concept, you know, Urban Expression, Single on Saturday Night, we would be in the house. But because it's a single on Saturday Night, I have to ask you a single question. When you're looking for a woman, do you prefer weave or natural? Um, it doesn't matter as long as it looks good. As long as, long as it looks good. it's maintained and it looks good, I'm down for it. All right. If someone was to ask you, um, if you have a friend and you're married and you have a friend and they tell, your friend is cheating on his girlfriend, what'd you tell? Would you tell your friend, would you tell the girl that your man is cheating? No, I wouldn't tell the girl that my friend is cheating. I mean, because my loyalty is to him. I would tell him that what he's doing is wrong, but I would not tell his girl that he's cheating. Okay, well, would you cover up for him? He said... No, 
I'm here. I wouldn't have nothing to do with the nonsense. No, I would let her know I would have nothing to do with it, and I'll condone it, but I would not tell her because my loyalty to me. Hi, everyone. I'm Jermaine Jones, and I'm watching Single on a Saturday night. I didn't want to come. I didn't want to bring a night to a gunfight. I do understand that this is a restaurant that is run by Scott. So I brought my own utensils. I don't know if y'all catching Shelly over here. Shelly can't. Are y'all catching Shelly? Okay, Shelly. It's okay. Shelly. It's okay. She's, she's trying to get the butter in a pan. I don't. Let the butter go. It's okay. Good job. Good job. Okay. Good job. Well, I hear stuff sizzling. That's always good. Add garlic, and we got some cooking going on. That ain't nothing but butter. Shelly. <laughs> but it all begins. It's all butter. All right. That's melted butter. I don't know, Status. What you got going on there? What you doing, baby? What is that? Okay. It's on and popping. What you doing? Okay. All right. You got seasoning in there? It's a little small. They got three bins of seasoning. They got garlic butter, salt, and pepper. All right. Work it out. Work it out. That's all you need. That, I said, it. work it out, work it out. Coconut milk. Oh, and coconut milk. Coconut and well, those are, no. Okay, I think that y'all need some help. <laughs> well, we ain't got nothing. You down here with me because I ain't got nothing either. But I'm just saying. <laughs> we got everything over here. We got everything. I, I think I think there's some bias going on in this panel. What y'all think? I don't you know. You we to agree. That's right, Shelly. That's right. Don't crack the egg into the bowl because you might get shells Just in it. Just put the shells in the bowl. That's all. Put the shells, shells in the bowl. Put the whole thing in there. Obviously, you've never seen... Um, Shelly, have you ever seen Parappa the Rapper? I'm showing my age now. That guy that was interested in you, Shelly, just moved back to couple spaces. You can't crack an egg. How you she cracked the egg. How you not know she how to crack an egg? She cracked the egg. That's basic cooking 101. She cracked and the egg. And some people can't do that. That's right. We're going back, back, we're going back to our conversation. Attention everyone, we have a great opportunity for you. I wanted to introduce you to Ms. Robin Comer. Robin Comer, she has a great business opportunity trying to help you get out of that rut you're in. You know how you're having a hard time paying all your bills and, and you just can't seem to make it out. So tell us about uh, the kind of opportunities that it can offer people. Well, it can offer people, like you said, a way to get out of financial debt. Um, it allows you to um, make a residual income. And for those of you who don't know what residual income is, it's like when a movie star make a movie and you know they play it over and over. Well, every time they play it, the movie star gets paid. Mm -hmm. So that's called residual income. And the opportunity that I believe that was given to my husband and myself um, to share with others, you know, I believe that God has given us this opportunity uh, because we're not privy to a lot of opportunities. They always say that, you know, the black man, there's no opportunities out there when in fact there are. So um, this opportunity helps you like I said, become financially free, become financially free, and uh, it's getting paid on home essential bills that people pay every day. You know, when you pay your PICO bill in 30 days, someone is paid. You know, when you pay your cell phone bill, you pay thoughts, someone gets paid. When you pay your cable, someone gets paid for that, or from that. What we have is allowing you to get paid. So you're saying that if I pay my cell phone bill, my cable bill, whatever house bill that I had, that I could actually get paid from it? Yes. As opposed to keep my money keep going out, I can get paid yes. from it? Yes. So a lot of people talk about opportunities, but what if I don't have that type of personality that can reach out to people? And is it, is it something that I would have to, to talk to people? What if I don't have that personality? Well, that's... That's where I come in. You know, we have to, you're in business for yourself because once you get involved with the opportunity, you're an independent business owner. But you're in business for yourself and never by yourself. So there are 
professionals who will come out to help you, who will hold your hand through the process and help you. You think that you don't talk to a lot of people and that you're afraid to talk to a lot of people, but really, um, you know, you don't have to talk to a whole lot of people. You know, just like I'm talking to you, well, I know people that you don't know. You know people who I don't know. Everyone knows someone who's overworked and underpaid. So if you just talk to two people, then those two people know two people. And, and that's how it works. So you're in business for yourself and never by yourself. So it's always someone there to help you, to guide you, to lead you, you know. Lead you to the right. So you know there's a lot of naysayers. And, and, and do you think that you really can, are you really making an income? Shelly, I will not lie to you. I've been a part of this opportunity for two years. I am definitely getting a residual income. I would not share it with someone if I was not doing it myself. So yes, it's not to get rich quick, and you do have to do some work, mm -hmm. but I'd rather do the work here and earn a residual income than to work for someone else for 30, 20 years and retire and have money. So while you're sleeping, you can still make money. Yes, that's what I'm saying. That's what you're saying. Yeah. While you're sleeping, you will make money. The Bible says, um, a wealth and get rich quick scheme quickly disappears, but wealth and hard work grows over time. So hard work grows. Or they can email me at bribin.comer, C-U-L-M-E-R, at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Don't forget, um, we're going to put the information on the bottom of the screen. This is for you, whether you think you're an entrepreneur, whether you want to own your own business. If you're just stuck in a rut and you need a way out, this is an opportunity for you. She would not lie to you. She is making an income, and it's for you. Don't don't turn the page. Don't, don't click off. Don't stop it right now. This is for you. Listen now. It's definitely for you. So check out Robin Cohn. She actually brought me these beautiful flowers. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. So don't take advantage of this opportunity right now. 267-251-7904. Thank you so much. Well, I don't know, Nikki. We just saw a crack of egg. She was gentle with that egg, just like she could be gentle with a man. Tell us about that. Well, first of all, it's just certain things that aren't sexy. You're going to put it out there. Eggs is not one of them. If you don't know how to crack an egg. <laughs> Don't bring that a part of your repertoire in the kitchen. Well, tell us about some things that could be in our repertoire. First of all, you can never go wrong with butter, like you said. No. Melted butter. You put anything in there. You put some garlic in there, some seasoned salt, some pepper. You're going to have that place smelling good. I don't care what you're cooking. You can be making oodles of noodles, but if you put some butter and garlic on there, you're good. The next thing with smells, don't underestimate cinnamon and vanilla. You could put a pot of boiling water on, put some cinnamon and vanilla on. You can get those cinnamon buns from around the corner, but if you are burning some cinnamon, and vanilla on a pot, your house is smelling good, and he think you was cooking all day, and you just got some Pillsbury stuff. And oh, no, baby. Y'all know, remember Clueless back in 1991? The girl told you always had something baking. Now, she ain't know she's supposed to take it off the wrapper, but apparently <laughs> we were supposed to be listening to that advice. Yeah, I love that 16-year-old. How about you, Malisha? Well, tell us about some of your tricks in the kitchen. Uh, I don't have a lot of tricks. I mean, I grew up on, like, oodles and noodles and hot dogs when there was nothing left in the house. You just put that on real quick. Grilled cheese sandwiches, but I can bake some chicken, some curry chicken now. I mean, I learned to, I got to do some good stuff. So I, I think I'm a pretty good cook. And how's that helping you in the bedroom? I don't, I don't, not in the bedroom. I'm single on a Saturday night. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Never underestimate presentation. Presentation, presentation. If it looks good, they're going to expect it to be good and they think it's going to be good. That's half the battle. You can take a basic meal and if you make it look good, it's okay. And I tell everyone, if you can read, you can cook. You can look up anything online. They have recipes. They even have YouTube videos. I have my man like, listen, watch, just do what he does and you will have <laughs> an edible meal. You can't really mess it up unless you just... Burn it. <laughs> well, Jermaine, raw. Jermaine, earlier you were telling me about how he could throw down secret. This, this is a man after my own own heart, because he told me that he was frying up pork chops. Because I don't know about you, but this girl right here still get down with the swine. So, you know, make it taste good, baby. Make it taste good. So tell us about that. Um, 
I cook everything. Uh, last night, um, I we made a roast. Talk, last night, I made a roast in a crock pot. Um, I made a roast in a pot, crock pot last night. Let it cook for like eight hours on low with the potatoes, carrots, celery, onions. Season it up real nice. nice. Made some jasmine rice. Mm -hmm. That was um, last night. I can't wait to get back home and have some more. The night before, I fried pork chops. Before that, I did pepper steak. You know, so um, okay, I cook. Okay. But the, tr the, the, the trick is you got to learn how to migrate what you use into the kitchen in the bedroom. You know what I mean? That's there's true. A, there's That's a, there's true. a trick. You gotta migrate. Well, you gotta tips? migrate the dessert. You know what I mean? Into the bedroom. Breakfast in bed never hurts. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. You migrate the foods into the bed, and then you make a. You know what I mean? You can make that work. But as a woman, I want to know: Do I then have to clean up the sheets? Let's see. We gotta take it all back. And, and Leon ain't going back here in the kitchen. Okay, status. What you doing? You going in? How you going in? We about to win this. Doing what? We got some special sauce there. <laughs> and what are you doing with the sauce? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Lady? Again, Shelly's not doing nothing. How'd she get to the back again? <laughs> How's Shelly keep migrating to the back? How is Shelly with the guys? Yeah, they moved her to the back again. She's the host, so she has to check uh -huh. on everyone. Uh -huh. I, I sent some hateration. They sent her. They sent her to the minor leagues. That's what it was. See, you know what? These folks were random. We had Shelly because we knew she couldn't cook. The whole point here is that we supposed to help our sister girl out, okay? So we are helping her out right now. I don't know this status person just showed up anyway. It's looking a little shady. We ain't never seen him before. It's the first visit. He wasn't on the site. I don't know where we got him from. <laughs> status, tell us about where you came from today. Uh -huh. See? <laughs> he wasn't ready for that one. What? <laughs> I'm not trying to take him off his focus. He forgot they gave him answers. He wrote them down, but he had to put them down to cook. I don't know. <laughs> well, man, speaking of cooking, uh, Miss Danielle, um, this young lady can throw down now. Now, she done told me some stories about men that she been trying to leave behind that's coming back into her life, and she thinking they want to get back with her, and they asked it for what? Meatloaf. <laughs> Yeah, that has happened quite a few times. That's why I can't give away the secret to the meatloaf. Because, ladies, I don't want y'all having this man jumping outside the bushes. I don't want you, you know, I'm saying. You know, I thought we was having a romantic evening. It kind of went like this. Oh, that's nice, babe. You got some more of that meatloaf? Mm-hmm. Think you're going to get busy. You know, like, no, we're going to get the meatloaf. The if that's the only way you can get them, you better cook that meatloaf. I'm saying, I got all this right here going on, and you want a meatloaf? Apparently. <laughs> yeah, apparently. It wasn't, <laughs> See, sometimes ladies. It wasn't that meatloaf that he wanted. You know, sometimes, ladies, we just try too hard. We think it's all it is. <laughs> and it was really the, the, the meatloaf. Just the meatloaf. It's as simple as that. Just the meatloaf. Well, I'm going to tell you, I had to learn the hard way. And I can't believe that Nikki put me out there on Front Street, but it's all right. Wait a minute. She called me one day. No, she forwarded me a text. I didn't believe her from this guy. It was like, what you doing tomorrow night? What you cooking? Are you going to make that meatloaf? <laughs> I said, drop him. He's crazy. He's crazy. It's all wrong with this man. At least you know he likes your cooking. Yeah. Well, that was really good. But sometimes you get concerned. You know, is that all he likes? Is that all he wants? He just want to eat? I can't take care of you and me too. I don't want to cook for you every day. I want to go to the restaurant. I don't want to be the restaurant. <laughs> well, I don't know. Let's wrap up one more time. Sit back, see what they doing back here. Shelly, are we doing anything? Because it sounds like she is. Looking scared. She's holding she a spoon. She got a spoon with something on it. There's a whisk and a microphone. I'm, I'm um, stuffing a chicken. You with crap. <laughs> I mean, with, <laughs> with crap. You said it right. With crap. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm stuffing it. Come on now. You can say it. That's right. That's right, Shelly. It's crack. It's going to taste so good. We're going to be addicted. It's going to be so good. Okay, Stanley. What are we doing over here? Just get attention. Don't be afraid. This is still basic cable. Tell them Mundo. As long as you ain't doing this Spanish, I think you're all right. Okay, we want to take a nice break. We're still single on Saturday night. <laughs>